Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Lano USB Bluetooth 5.3 adapter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the adapter. We have a little cover for the USB. So this adapter supports Bluetooth 5.3, but it's also backwards compatible with previous versions, including 5.2, 5.0, 4.0. This supports Windows 11, 10, and 8.1, and it doesn't require an additional driver. And I'm getting this information from the Amazon description. It also says this supports up to seven Bluetooth devices simultaneously, and it supports various protocols, GAP, A2DP, HID over GATT, HSP, AVC, HFP, and FTP. It also says on there that this is not compatible with Mac, Linux, PS3, PS4, PS5, Switch, car system, or TV. This is for PC use only. So there are a couple different reasons why someone might want something like this. They might have a computer that does not have Bluetooth. This is an easy way to add Bluetooth to a system. This is also an easy way to upgrade Bluetooth. So if you have an older version of Bluetooth, you can plug this in and have the newer version. So I'm going to plug this into my Windows 10 PC. We'll set it up and we'll add some devices. Okay, so we have the PC here. I'm going to plug the adapter into a USB port on it. Okay, I just plugged it in. It popped up pretty much instantaneously here. So now I want to add some devices. So I'll go down to my start menu and I'll go to settings. I'll go to devices. I'll say add Bluetooth or other device. I'll say add Bluetooth keyboard. So I have a mouse here. I'll switch it over to Bluetooth mode. I'll choose BT 5.0 mouse. It says device is ready to go. I'll hit done. So now we're connected. I'll add another device. This time I'll add a keyboard. So I have a Bluetooth keyboard here. I'm going to hold down the Bluetooth button until it flickers. Here we have Bluetooth 5.0 keyboard. So now we have a keyboard and mouse connected. So next I want to add a Bluetooth speaker. Again, I'll go to add Bluetooth or other device. Turn on the speaker. I see the audio device here. I'll choose it. Okay, it's connected. I'll say done. I'll open up some audio. And now we're playing music through the Bluetooth speaker. We can use the media controls on the keyboard to control this also. So I can pause it and I can turn the volume up and down. Now I'm also holding down the function button on this keyboard. So that's the Lano USB Bluetooth 5.3 adapter. As you can see, this was super easy to set up. You just plug it in and the computer recognizes it. And then once you do that, you can go into your settings and you can easily add devices. So here I added three different devices, but according to the Amazon description, you can add up to seven. So there are lots of devices that use Bluetooth. You can even transfer files between two computers using Bluetooth. Now this supports Bluetooth 5.3, and I'm not going to go over all the specific advantages of it, but typically when Bluetooth gets upgraded, you'll find better security, faster speeds, more robustness, things like that. But it's pretty easy to go online and research the advantages of the different versions over other versions. Now, generally speaking, newer adapters will work with the older protocols, so you may not have things that support 5.3 now, but you can get this adapter. It'll work with your previous things, and then if you get future devices that support Bluetooth 5.3, this is ready to go. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.